Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this uh, another Diagnostic World video we have for you today. Another quick tutorial on the iCOS, I mean sorry, the uh, Autel, I keep saying iCOS, of the Autel MD808 Pro Kit. Uh, the kit is available at Diagnostic World, it's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll put the link to this kit in the description and the comments box below. It is very important to note that this is a genuine kit. We only stock genuine kits at Diagnostic World. Uh, there are fake cl uh, kits and clone kits on the market unfortunately they won't do as they're supposed to you won't be able to update them so it's always better to go with a trusted seller like Diagnostic World who only stock genuine units so we have the uh, ABS light showing on the dashboard here of this Toyota Yaris and we're going to click into scan we first of all we've got this pl tool plugged into the diagnostic port so we're going to click on to scan we're going to click Asia we're going to select our vehicle, so we need to find Toyota. There it is. And we're going to select manual selection. Now, one strange thing about the uh, the MD808 Pro is that when connecting to this Yaris, uh, it does seem to be taking quite a long time to communicate to the vehicle. Um, we've had we've used this tool on lots of other makes and models like Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, and it connects really quickly. But when I connected to this out uh, this Toyota Yaris, it does seem to be taking a long time, probably about 30 seconds or so, to establish a connection. So um, just know that it can differ from time to time depending on which vehicle you're putting it into and maybe which system you're also looking to diagnose as well. So we're just sitting here waiting for the connection. Should happen any second now. Famous last words. Here we go. So we need to select our vehicle. Now there's a huge selection of vehicles. So instead of going all the way down, we know that Yaris is pretty close to the end. So there we go, 82 in fact, but we are number 80. It's Yaris. And uh, you need to find out which one of these is applicable for yourself. I've just been clicking on KSP, not 100% if that's correct, but it seems to be doing the trick because we can get into pre-2007 vehicles, it's with a smart key, and we can go to diagnosis, we can go to control unit, and then we can go to ABS. Obviously this is a long list of all of the systems you can try to connect to, but we'll just click to uh, ABS, just a quick message there about the system and again this might take another 15 seconds so here we go read codes and we've got a C1332 open circuit and rear right speed sensor circuit uh, so it's as we suspected because we put a new rear uh, right ABS sensor in there uh, We haven't yet cleared the codes and the light is still on so we're going to do that now So we'll click on to erase codes Let's Click OK to those Erase done so you'll see the um, Well, we'll go back into read codes It's still there However, I suspect And we'll try that again erase codes Erase done. So normally, when you erase the codes, the check the engine light will sorry the ABS light will turn off in this vehicle. It does require you to do an engine restart. So I'm going to just I'm curious as to why that code was still there actually. So I'm going to turn the engine off. And I'm going to turn the engine back on now. I'm curious to see if the ABS light will turn off or stay on. Well, it's gone off there. That's absolutely fine. Um, curious again. I'll just go back in and read codes. It was still there. Now if we reset, if we do another erase with the, the light off, there we go, it's done it now. So it needs, for, it needs, to, it needs the light to clear first and then it'll uh, re remove the codes from the ECU. But it's all thanks to the Autel MD808 Pro, obviously it covers a huge range of vehicles, a huge range of systems and uh, a lot of other service options as well. A reset, oil reset, electronic park and brake, steering angle sensor, DPF, battery registration, electronic throttle control, and uh, adjustment there as well. So, uh, I'll put the link to where you can pick this up. 
It's Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. As I say, I'll put the link in the description and in the comments box below this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.